This is the specialised S-Works Venge of a certain Marcel Cattell. Now he has of course been on giant bikes for the last couple of years, but after a surprise move over to Etix Quickstep in the latter part of 2015, this is the bike he was riding. Ironically, it was kind of designed for his arch rival in the sprint, Mark Cavendish, who has of course moved on to the Dimension Data team and therefore Cervelo. But so far, it seems to be doing him no harm at all. In fact, just today, he won his very first race of the season on this bike, the first stage of the Dubai Tour. Now, this is a very striking bike, as is plainly obvious, and Specialized claim that this bike saves two minutes over their tarmac at 40 kilometers per hour over an hour. Pretty bold claim and actually quite hard to believe, but who are we to argue? Now, the striking features are mainly, in my eyes, the brakes here. They're completely proprietary, made by Specialized. They are cable, not hydraulic or anything, but completely in line with the seat tube here at the back and extending out of the back of the fork legs here at the front. Now, originally, at the start of the year, he did have Specialized's own bar and stem combination up here at the front, but for some reason, uh, he's suddenly switched to a non-branded stem there at the front and some different bars as well. Group set is a Shimano Dura Ace one pretty much throughout. He's got the sprint levers also there on the drop part of the bars as well. And at the moment, he's running a standard 39 by 53 teeth at the front and 11 up to 28 here at the back. Front and rear mech also provided by Shimano. It's only the brakes really which deviate away from that. Now, Specialized, as you might imagine, make a lot of different bike components and they are pretty much all featured on here. So the wheels come from their in-house wheel brand, Roval. These are the CLX 60 Rapid, so one of the deeper section wheels that they make, 60 millimeters in depth. And at the top there is the Specialized Roman Evo saddle, which is the one that he's preferred after testing a few of them over the winter months. Tax provide the bottle cages here. Shimano also, by the way, the pedals as well. Mounted onto here are Specialized tires as well. Now, there's not much information on them here on the side, but I've measured them myself and they're coming in at the fairly standard these days, 25 millimeters wide. So what does a bike which is this aerodynamic actually weigh? Well, here's your answer. 7.805 kilograms, so around about a one kilogram penalty over the lightest bikes that we can have in the Pro Peloton. Now he's a pretty big guy, Marcel, and I've been doing some measurements in terms of his saddle height and reach, and they're pretty big. This is even higher than what I would normally ride my saddle. He's got it at 81 centimeters from the center of the bottom bracket up to roughly where he would sit here. And in terms of the reach, that's pretty good as well, pretty long, 62 centimeters from the tip of the saddle, which is reasonably short, up to the center of the handlebars up front. Right, one last thing which I did forget to mention was the power meter on here. 4i have made their first move into the Pro Peloton. At the moment, it is left side only, but they will be receiving the new prototype very soon, which will mean it had a drive side one as well. So rather than just adding up the power or doubling it from the left side, they'll be measuring both left and right. So talking of that, if you would like to see the video which we did at the Dubai Tour on power meters in the Peloton, you can find that just up there. And then down there is a complete pro bike playlist. And in the middle, it does what it says. It allows you to subscribe to the channel for free. And we'll have loads more great content for you throughout 2016 and beyond, hopefully.